Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. I just recently did a video regarding finesse swim baits and the different swim baits that I like to use in different situations. And I got a couple of comments from you guys out there wanting to know what colors I like to throw those swim baits in. So I figured I would do a video talking about the different colors that I like to use on my swim baits. Because if you watch my channel on a regular basis, you probably know that I'm not a huge proponent of having lots of different colors in my boat. Uh, but I will tell you, I do feel like there are very specific colors with respect to swim baits that do a very, very good job at not only imitating the forage in that lake, but also triggering those reaction strikes from the fish. You know, a lot of times if I'm pitching a jig, I don't think there's a big difference between, you know, green pumpkins and browns and all the hundreds of different shades between those. But with swim baits, I do think that there are very specific shades. So I want to touch on those. Now, having said that, I will say that even though I'm showing you these colors, which are the ones that I really like to use, there are tons and tons of different hues produced by all the various bait manufacturers out there that are very similar to these colors. So these you can use these kind of as your guideline, but don't be afraid to, you know, veer from them a little bit. So I'm going to walk you through each of these and tell you where and when I like to throw each of these colors, because to me, it does make a pretty big difference. So the first one we're gonna start with is just the straight sight flash color. So sight flash, a lot of companies make this color. It's where you have a very solid white on the back, but as you rotate to the belly, it turns generally into a clear bait, uh, usually with some sort of silver flake in it. Now, this is a really good color for a couple of different scenarios. One. If I'm fishing muddy water, this color stands out extremely well. But two, it's a really good bait for the angler to use from a sight fishing perspective. And what I mean by that is a lot of times if you're fishing really clear water, I can see this bait coming in if I'm fishing it closely under the surface. That can be an advantage to me because it allows me to track my bait, it allows me to see if there's fish behind the bait, but it's a really good visual thing for me. The other aspect, hence the name sight flash, if you are sight fishing with it, that solid white color on the back is one of the most visual colors for us to be able to see well. So it stands out. So if you're sight fishing with it, this is a really good color for it. So a lot of times if I'm fishing uh, smallmouth, say on beds, or I'm fishing smallmouth up cruising flats or largemouth up cruising flats, this is going to be one of the colors I choose to go with but uh, it's also an excellent muddy water color. And I'll put links to these in the video description so that you guys can check them out. But remember, you know, in this case, this is the Berkeley Power Bay Power Swimmer. Kitex got a very similar color, also called Sight Flash. Like there's a lot of manufacturers that make these. So if you've got a specific swim bait that you like, you probably can match that color up with one of the colors that that company offers. Another one that I like that's kind of a newer color, <clears throat> this is the Gobi color. So this is a Kitek color. Uh, again, a lot of companies make something very similar to this. I like to have a, a swim bait that's got a very natural colored back and still have that white belly. You know, a lot of the bait fish that are out there, the forage species for bass, tend to have a darker hued back and then have that lighter belly. So the Gobi color is one that I love. Another one is called Smallmouth Candy, which is basically the same color, only instead of brown, it's got kind of a dark watermelon green on the back. But in those instances, you know, if you're fishing a lake that's got Gobi or bluegill or perch, having that brown or green hue tends to do a really good job at matching the other forage species. So if you're fishing a lake that's got a lot more shad, that's when you're talking about your whites and your silvers are going to be a bigger factor. But if you're fishing a lake <clears throat> that's got more bluegill or panfish or other forage species, your goby colors or your smallmouth candy type colors are going to be a major player. Uh, this is one that I love. You know, if I'm fishing, uh, I've talked about putting a wobble head or a biffle, a biffle head and fishing a swim bait on it. Those are the colors I really like to fish that are on the bottom because it has that more natural color that blends in with the bottom better than just, say, a sight flash per se. <clears throat> Next up, probably my, my all-around favorite swim bait color. You know, if I had to choose one under almost any circumstance, this is going to be the one that I'd probably go with. 
This is the Pro Blue Red color. Pro Blue Red Pearl color, I guess is what Kitek calls it. Uh, very, very natural color. You've got kind of your faded uh, belly that fades into a light gray. Just an all around perfect bait fish color. This for me is just one of the old Sampais. I think, don't quote me on this, but I believe it's the number one selling Kitek color. Um, it is one of the ones that's been around for the longest, but it's just a great color. Like, and if you turn it, you probably, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but there's almost like a violet hue to it when you turn it. Just a killer color like this. This for, for me is like the best all around color. Um, doesn't always perform the best, but consistency wise, I feel like this is one that you got to have in your arsenal. And it's just one that, you know, unless you've got pretty specific instances or circumstances like i'm mentioning with these other ones that pro blue color <clears throat> is one of the best all right so here's one that i really love but it's a situational color so if i'm fishing under situations where i like to get the fish to react to my bait so maybe they're not aggressive maybe they're just looking to be triggered there's something about this uh it's the electric chartreuse blue color some people call it electric chicken i believe uh, but basically it's a chartreuse belly fades into a, a kind of a light faded blue back absolute dynamite color especially if you've got a little bit of water clarity uh, or a little tint to your watercolor sometimes you get that it's like a milky color uh, so the water's not necessarily like dirty or muddy it's just got like a little tint to it almost like you're fishing a clear water uh, clear water impoundment but there's some wave action that's bringing a little bit of silt off the bank this chartreuse in blue color is an absolute dynamite one. It's fantastic for spotted bass, fantastic for smallmouth. This is like if you fish in that northeastern Tennessee area, Douglas Lake, <clears throat> Cherokee Lake, really popular color out in that neck of the woods. But it works great pretty much everywhere. <clears throat> you guys know how much I'm a fan of chartreuse in terms of triggering those aggressive strikes, and that is one bait that will do it. Next up, <clears throat> this is one, so I mentioned how I, I really like this uh, Reaction Innovations Little Dipper. This is one that I absolutely love if I'm fishing around grass. This is the sprayed grass color. It's basically a watermelon that's got on the top, uh, maybe a little bit of green pumpkin. It's got some purple, green, <coughs> excuse me, blue flake in it. Really, really good bait. If you're fishing around grass, you've got a lot of bluegill, a lot of perch in those circumstances, just does a great job at mimicking that forage. Uh, so if I'm fishing around grass, so I'm fishing this maybe as a Texas rig, or I've got this on a trailer on like a swim jig, this is going to be one of those baits that I am going to reach for first. Uh, I've caught a lot, a lot, a lot of fish on this. And don't be afraid to dye the bottom of that in a little bit of chartreuse to give it a little bit more of that natural turquoisey look that a bluegill's tail will have just a dynamite bait for using as a trailer or swimming through the grass just in its own but at that instance i'm trying to i'm trying to match the surroundings which is the grass that i'm fishing but you're also kind of blending in better and matching the hatch of the forage that lives in those grassy areas so these are the five colors that i use like i said don't be afraid to stray a little bit from them every company has usually generally a variation of these colors, but these are the colors that I tend to go with. I carry a bunch in my boat. <clears throat> and then based on water clarity, uh, species that I'm fishing, and general uh, locations that I'm fishing, I'll tend to kind of play around with them. But I usually start with these five, and once I find a color that's working really good, at that point I might try to find the specific hue or shade of that color that works. But if you have these five colors in your boat, you will be set. You will be able to cover pretty much every type of water around the entire country, uh, regardless of species that you're fishing for. So anyways, guys, let me know in the comment section, do you have some colors that you really like <clears throat> that I did not mention? If you do, please share it with us. Otherwise, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Stay tuned. New video coming out tomorrow.